you seen one of these before? They're usually called bee hotels. It's not really a hotel, it's more a home. But you may have seen them in the supermarkets or garden centres. And it's like a box with loads of little holes in. But do you know what it's really for? Do you know what uses it? These bee homes are used by a quite special bee and it's a solitary bee. It's not a bee like a honey bee in a big hive. It's a bee that tends to live by itself. And these solitary bees are really, really important because they're such good pollinators. And we have over 250 types of solitary bee in the UK, ranging from teeny weeny to sort of normal, what you'd think of as a bee side. And what happens is these bees use these tubes to nest in. So let me explain what they do. So a solitary bee female wants somewhere safe to lay her eggs. She's not gonna lay them in a big hive like a honey bee. She's gonna lay them in a little tube like this. Now there are lots of different types of solitary bees. Some of them um, actually make little holes in the ground, but we're gonna have a look at the ones that nest in here. One of the most common ones is called a red mason bee. The great thing about these is that they don't sting. They don't need to be able to sting because they're not protecting a big hive and most of them don't even have a sting. So they're perfectly safe to be watching. So the female flies into one of these little holes when she's decided it's what she wants and she makes sure it's nice and clean in there and then she starts to collect nectar and pollen. She carries it back and fills up the end of the little tube. When she's got a nice pile she lays an egg on top and that nectar and pollen is a bit like a packed lunch. Then she seals a little door and leaves in that little tiny chamber one egg and a little pile of nectar and pollen. Then she repeats it. So she flies back in with nectar and pollen, makes a little pile and lays an egg and again she seals the door. Now, depending on what species she is, she may seal the little door with mud or she may do it with leaves. All different species use different methods. So that female will keep coming backwards and forwards, sealing the little chamber once she'd laid her egg and piled up that nectar and pollen until she reaches the front of the tube. Then she seals the very front. Now inside those tubes, the little egg hatches and it eats away at all the nectar and pollen. Now the little larva that hatches out gets fatter and fatter until eventually, just like a caterpillar would, it will pupate so it will turn into a little tiny cocoon and then it will spend the whole of the winter as a cocoon inside here and then the following spring, so this time of year, the eggs that are laid right at the front, which is pretty amazing, hatch first because they need to get out first so they bite their way through and fly out then the next one down does the same until they all work their way out and the ones at the front are male so they tend to hang around then and wait for the females further back to hatch out 